good afternoon. My name is Amy Howard. I'm going to show you how to do an incredible transformation to your kitchen cabinets. Of course, you could use this process on um, a piece of furniture that you are rescuing and restoring, and that's liming. I've got my kitchen cabinet door that I purchased at Habitat for Humanity, and the reason I I do that is because they are only about two dollars, and it allows me to be able to experiment with different techniques that I'm going to be doing on my kitchen cabinet. So, first thing I need to be sure and do is take a degreaser, because anytime you're going to be working with kitchen cabinet doors, there's going to be a lot of grease and grime from cooking. So I want to make sure that I get all that off. Yeah, this is pretty dirty. After I put my degreaser on it, I'm going to come back with some water, and I've just put some tap water into this little squirt bottle, because I want to make sure that I get all the residue of the degreaser actually off my cabinet as well. Now, of course, if your cabinet doors are still hanging up, you can be doing this on a vertical surface. I'm just doing this to be able to experiment with the actual finish that I want to put on it. Let me get some more paper towels to dry it good. So in deciding to do the finish on these cabinet doors, I wanted to do it in a pretty graphite color. So I am taking our Metropolitan Gray and our um, perfect black color and I'm mixing them together to make a really pretty dark graphite color. So I've actually mixed those two here and I'm going to take my round hog hair bristle brush, dip it in my paint and as I'm painting the piece I'm going to probably want to do two coats but I'm going to put it on in a cross-hatching direction. And then after it sets up for just a minute, I'm going to come back and just kind of feather it out a little bit. I do want my cross-hatching. That's part of the beauty of this finish. The other thing is, I have a couple of different options. Let's say I don't want to brush on my finish. Um, I can spray it on. So I love that Graco has a new sprayer with a collapsible bag on it. And it allows you to be able to pour the one-step paint into the sprayer gun. It's an airless sprayer gun. And spray the paint onto your cabinets, which you can do it in about half the time. Your finish is going to be different. It's going to be a little bumpier and it's going to be, in some instances, smoother where it may be uh, more difficult to wax if you do want to be able to do liming or an antiquing wax. Um, I like brushing it on. It's really a prettier finish if you're going to be doing the waxing process. I'm not going to finish this door because I'm going to let it dry, but I did one in doing this video just a few minutes ago so that way you could see what it looks like. So this is my um, beautiful mix of Metropolitan Gray and Black on my cabinet door. And I am going to come now with my um, Amy Howard at Home Liming Wax. And because there's so many projects that I can use it on, um, I always keep a large can of this on, on hand. So I'm gonna, I've got just a little bit of paint thinner here that I'm dipping my brush into and coming into my wax because I want it to be on the first pass, kind of like a white wax glaze. Again, I've got my cardboard that I always go for my wax and I'll offload a little bit. And then I'm gonna start at the top of my door. And you'll notice with my wrist, see how I'm constantly moving it from left to right. And I'm, I'm moving around organically because I don't want to create a pattern. So I'm 
continuing to feather it. And I'm gonna have some darks and lights on this, which are very desirable. And I'm working fairly fast because I wanna feather it out to where it doesn't look too uneven. In this center section, I may come back with my brush, try to even it up just a little bit because I don't want it to look too swishy. As I'm working, I'll come back with some t-shirt rags that I want to make sure that there's no texture in it, that I've, I've washed them beforehand because I don't want to start getting a bunch of lint on my door. If I'm working fairly quickly on this, I can start to come back through and wear some of my wax off so some of that graphite color will show through. Then I can come back and just highlight it a little bit. I do want it to dry probably about 10 or 15 minutes before I come back to do my, my last buffing. Now the second step that I'm doing on this, I'm gonna come back and have my wax a little bit more solid. The first pass when I did my wax, remember, we added a little bit of paint thinner to our brush before we put it in the wax. Now this time, I didn't put my brush in my paint thinner, so my wax is gonna be a little bit thicker. That's, gonna, that's going to allow it to be wider. So I'm gonna come back on my raised areas and on my corners and I'm gonna pull this white through just a little bit more. Gives it just a little bit of a detail. So it's almost like highlighting in a sense. I'll come back, just soften that a little bit. That allows you to be able to have surfaces which are kitchen cabinet doors like this that really don't have a whole lot of detail, all of a sudden it's got a little bit more dramatic finish to it. a little bit more. Notice again my wrist is still moving. So I'll continue to play with this to where I'm happy with it. And then my next cabinet door, I want to be sure and lay it next to this one so I can make sure that they're matching. After I'm speeding this process up just a little bit, but I want to be able to show you, once you, you come back in and you get a little bit of sheen to it, it's a really, really pretty finish. And just to think, this was a nasty old dirty kitchen cabinet door a few minutes ago. Here's an example of using the graphite as my base coat color on a carved surface that I was experimenting with my trim. A lot of you know this is how I come up with different techniques and finishes. Um, but you see how the detailing on it is much different, but the colors are about the same. So hopefully you'll experiment, you'll have fun, um, and create all different kinds of finishes using the lining wax. Go enjoy the bragging rights.